Jackson Kowar. These are the numbers in his first three big league games, but hopefully he takes them out tonight feeling like he's got a clean slate. Line driving a base hit to left field. Might have been a slider or an off-speed pitch of some sort. That's his breaking ball right there, and uh, he's hung it up there, and Miles Straw took advantage. There it is. Look at the slider. That thing backed up in him right into home plate, right into the barrel of the bat. Fastball. One away. Ouch. Ooh, yeah. Carr picks off Miles Straw. Logan Allen's going to be the Indian starting pitcher, brought to you by your Northeast Ohio Ford dealers. And Logan coming off uh, his best start that we have seen all year long against the Red Sox in this last outing. And Witt pulls it to third. Ramirez backs up, and then he kicks it into foul ground. That should be a base hit. That's right, backing up on the ball. How many times have we told you when you do that as a fielder, that's a no-no, really. I mean, you're going to have a hard time throwing a speedy runner out. But, hey, that was the way he read the ball, and he just couldn't glove it. And there's a base hit into left field. So two on and nobody out. Michael A. Taylor, he's been... The most productive Royal with him loaded. Five for 12. Lifted to right. That'll be deep enough to get one home. Zimmer makes the play. Merrifield scores. Lopez goes to third. Center field. Miles Straw on a dead sprint to the warning track. Makes the grab to retire the side. Kansas City gets a run. They lead it one to nothing. Already in that first inning, we saw that fastball up to 98 miles an hour. Well, Joel, he's been ahead of all four hitters. Yeah, the changeup, it's a beauty. Man, look at how he turns it over. Almost like a screwball. There's a solid base hit into left center field, but Taylor cuts it off. And Zimmer came ripping around first. Royals have a chance to make a play. And now a ricochet. And Kowar gives it to Santana. And Zimmer is going to be out. And there's a diving play by Witt. And Kowar. Ooh, hey, how about this? One hop smash right to Witt's left. That's routine. He makes those plays in his sleep. Adalberto Mondesi is back for the first time since June 20th. And a base hit into center field. He just picks up where he left off. Hanser Alberto swings and he lines it into left center field. Mondesi will turn and hold. He'll force a throw. And now they're running. They're stopping. They are running again. And the throw ends up in left field. Mondesi will score. Alberto goes to third. And Adalberto Mondesi, as he has done, three different times it hasn't added up to many games but he makes his presence known immediately Bobby Bradley Austin Hedges and Andres Jimenez strike three over the outside edge that is 26 pitches and 20 strikes Salvador Perez having a monster year will lead off the Kansas City third two nothing Royals there's a ground ball backhanded by Ahmed Rosario it's short and oh, nice split save by Bobby Bradley on the back end. And Ramirez moves up on a wild pitch. Change up. Reyes strikes out for a second time. Jackson Kowar has four strikeouts in four scoreless innings. Now Mondesi, who had two very good swings on him. And there's a drive into deep left field. Ramirez is back. My goodness. Put on a show, Adalberto Mondesi, in his first game since June the 20th. He has two hits, he has a stolen base, and now he has a home run. Welcome back. Wow, what a player. Indians trailing 3 0 as we head to the fifth inning, trying to break through here against the rookie righty, Jackson Kowar. It's a base hit in the left field by Big Harold. So he's back, and the Indians have something brewing here in the fifth. It plays everywhere. That's hit pretty well. Deep left center field. Taylor on the run. Runs it down. 
drops the ball. It kicked off the end of his glove. The Indians are going to score two runs. How about that? He had to go all that way and had it on the dead run and misses the baseball. Watch his hand go up. He's got it. He's got it. He's calling for it. I don't know if the glove got in the way and he was looking for the wall, but you got to catch that ball. Salvador Perez will step in. Perez, 0 for 2. He's fly to center, grounded to short. Swing and a miss. What an inning for Logan Allen. Sets him down one, two, three for the second time tonight. And the Indians have two on with one out. And a changeup is in for a called third strike. You're correct, Monty. No doubt about it. With a fastball changeup combination, you know, that's enough to disrupt the timing. But look at the location there. He's been able to put that ball in the outer half away from the hitter. Changeup struck him out. Next strikeouts, five on the change. And Jackson Coar can walk off the mound as a proud man tonight. He's given up just two runs in six innings. Jake Brents is back from the injured list, and he'll get the seventh inning. And a strikeout on a slider. You better not. Uh -huh. There's the ball hammered. Deep left field. Speeds it up. Goodbye. Oh, baby, Yu Chang stays locked in at the plate. A pinch hit home run puts the Indians in a tie. It's a 3-3 game in the seventh. Wow, that is, uh, he did Chang a favor, boy. And Big Harold leads off. He's one for three with a run scored. Rip to deep left field down the line. It is a double into the corner. Benintendi will lob it back into the infield. And the Indians have the go-ahead run aboard to start the ninth inning as Big Harold. Gets a leadoff double in the ninth, and now Oscar Mercado will come in and run at second and stay in the game and left. Pickoff play at second base. Got him. Out! And if it stands, it'll be the second pickoff for the Royals tonight. So look at he's got a little generous that last one. Scotty boy, what a throw! Perfect timing on that pickoff. Cleveland oh, yeah. will challenge. That's a close one. Get that tag on him. Out. Way to go, Scotty boy. Manuel Classe will come on for the Tribe here in the bottom half of the ninth. Just trying to hold it right there and put a zero on the board to give your chance in the extra innings. Swing and a miss. Bottom fell out of that one. And there are two down. Dozier hits it on the ground left side, and that's going to be through. So he puts an end to the 0 for 22. Goes after the first pitch. Thank you. And an easy out. Maybe. Gee whiz. Bradley just got around Class A who almost boxed him out. We've got extra innings in KC. Tied at three. The Royals with a chance to win it. And the Royals will have the top of the order up. Three good hitters in Whit Merrifield, Nicky Lopez, and Salvador Perez. And on a hop to Chang, who bobbles, throws, and Save. it's dropped by Bradley. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. One away. And the 2-0 is hit in the air. Yu Chang comes in. Bobby Bradley's there. Now Yu says, I'll take it. He does. And the rabbit has been pulled from the hat once again. Swerving Urban Santana, the sixth Royals pitcher of the night. Little Fister. Right field, shallow, it drops it, gets down, and the Indians will take the lead. Incredible, Austin Hedges has done it again. The right man in the right spot, as you always say, and he's had a knack for coming up with some big hits. Boy, oh boy, with two outs, you get the opportunity. I mean, he gets enough of this ball. And the one-two is hammered. Left field, it's going to get down and go to the wall. Bradley scores. Here comes Austin Hedges. They're going to wave him. Here's the throw to the plate, and he's out from me to you. But the Indians get another run. Blew it by him. Book it. Trevor Steffen nails it down. What a performance. Austin Hedges is fired up. That was some pure filth from Steffen as he strikes out a pair, and the Indians come all the way back.